You'll hear phrases like, go that extra mile. Exceed expectations. Go above and beyond, right? These are phrases that business people are told to do all the time. But do they work? You see, there's a perception about how this whole concept of exceeding expectations works. And it's been taught in schools for the last 30 years, but studies have shown it's not right. Let me explain. So let's say, for example, you provide a product or a service and you don't meet expectations, all right? In a roundabout layman's terms, whatever you provide really sucks, all right? It's awful, it's terrible. Price is too high, the quality is too low, the service is terrible, all right? Customers, they're not gonna be very happy. And customers that aren't happy, they're not loyal. Makes sense, right? So what do you do? You try to up your game, you try to do better. So you try to meet their expectations. And when you meet their expectations, well, they become happy. And happy customers become more loyal, right? And then the school of thought is this. If you're able to exceed their expectations, much like Mike, the Uber driver, well, your customers, they will love you. They will love you and show undying loyalty. They will never leave you. And the concept is this. The more you wow them, the more you impress them, the more you go above and beyond, the more loyal they will become. Forever, you just keep up in your game and they will just be, keep becoming more loyal. That's exhausting, isn't it? Exhausting. Can you imagine having to up your game every time a new customer walks in the door? Or better yet, every time a current customer walks through the door and you've got to give them a better experience than the one they had before? You'll be exhausted and broke. Here's the reality. Much like before, if you don't meet their expectations, they're not going to be very happy with you. I think we can agree with that, right? And if you meet their expectations, they're going to be pretty happy. And when they're happy, they're loyal. But here's where things change. If you exceed their expectations, you know what happens? This is what happens. Anyone who texts, you know what IDC stands for? I don't care. Exactly. I don't care. Because anything above and beyond that hello point, whatever, didn't need it. All right? Think about it. If you buy your coffee every morning, probably from the same place like many of us do, you go in, you place the order, the person behind the counter is friendly, the coffee tastes good, it's the right price, you're in and out, everything is great. In fact, it's probably such a simple and happy experience that you can't even remember it. Right? If I asked you, the last time you went to a coffee shop to buy a coffee, can you remember the name of the person behind the counter? Can you remember the song that was playing through the PA system? Can you remember who was in front of you or if the line was long or short? Like most people, you probably can't remember. But I can tell you if they got your order wrong, well, then you'd remember. If the person behind was rude, you'd remember. So sometimes the easiest, most pleasant, the most fulfilling experiences can be ones that are so simple, so mundane, we don't even remember.